Douglas County has a lot of things. What it doesn't have are many services for people experiencing homelessness. As the mostly suburban county sees more unhoused people going there, the sheriff's office is starting a new program to take them back to places like Denver. Here's Mark Salinger. Well, it's increasingly become more of a concern. There's not a town in Colorado that isn't seeing homelessness. Some are just more prepared to deal with it. There's, there's literally no services for them to turn to. Republican Douglas County Sheriff Tony Spurlock is appointing what he calls a new reintegration deputy, a deputy that will take people experiencing homelessness and connect them with services outside of Douglas County. If they have resources in Denver, we want to get them there. Since the county has very few resources to help the homeless, Spurlock says the burden has fallen on law enforcement. His deputies will drive people back to Denver. We don't just put them on a bus or we just don't drive them to the city limits there in Bellevue and then boot them off. We actually have a plan and we work with the services in Denver. Spurlock says about 10 to 15 percent of people in his jail are homeless. When they're released, they have nowhere to go. Douglas County doesn't have much public transportation. We believe that we can then reduce those numbers of both homelessness and those people that are reoccurring uh, visits to our jail. As we see more enforcement of camping bans in a lot of areas like Denver, now Aurora, that we are pushing people further and further away from the concentration of services. It's not just a Douglas County problem. Kathy Alderman with the Colorado Coalition for the Homeless says people experiencing homelessness are being pushed to the suburbs. Instead of sending them back to the cities, she's advocating that places like Douglas County create more services. There are many areas that don't have services like shelters or food banks, but that's not to say that they couldn't. Rather than focusing on shifting people to where services are, we need to meet people in the communities in which they live. Douglas County commissioners recently voted to move forward with purchasing what they call pallet shelters to provide a safe place for people to sleep instead of being out on the streets. However, after getting an earful from unhappy community members, commissioners decided to put a hold on that. Neighbors worried, Steve, that it would attract too many people to the area and bring in other things that come with that. So we hear this a lot, that when the sweeps happen in Denver, people kind of get pushed all over the place. Why Douglas County? What's attracting people there? So Sheriff Spurlock says it's a couple things. First of all, it's right in the middle between Denver and Colorado Springs. If there's somebody who's traveling, then gets stuck in, uh, in Castle Rock, for example, they have nowhere to go. There's not a whole lot of public transportation. They do see some people, though, taking the light rail all the way out to Lone Tree, the end of the line, and then they have nowhere to go. Again, they're stuck there. The light rail that just got a little bit longer. Exactly. Right. Mark Salinger, thank you.